I asked my mother how did I start, and she said that I used to just beat on things. So <laughs> one Christmas she bought me a drum set. You would have thought I was playing for a massive crowd because when I got up that morning, it's like my whole family was just sitting there looking at me, just waiting for me to play. I just started kind of like messing around with it, and then uh, I started playing for the Sunday school choir, and um, eventually came full time at my home church. I've been drumming for 14 years. <laughs> Everybody needs an outlet, something to kind of break them away from the norm. I don't know, I was attracted to just rhythm. That's just a way I can just really express myself. My brother, he plays the organ, trumpet. My father, he played the drums and band when he was in high school. So I feel like I kind of like bounced off of that. And even with my uh, my sister, she actually is a drummer as well. I tell us that we all need to just get together and just make this one big massive band. A lot of truck drivers in the family as well. Initially how I got in, I just liked to drive from take road trips. I was always the driver and I had this bright idea to why not get paid for it? So my uncle, he works with the company as well and uh, he has been driving pretty much my whole entire life. So when he used to come in on home time, we would just climb up in this truck, you know, just kind of play with the CB and different things like that. Yeah, I've been driving for 10 years. Uh, it's not a lot of people in this industry could see a million miles at a young, age to hit a million safe miles was a great accomplishment and then i was kind of like on this little race with my, uh, my uncle he's the next million miler in the terminal or whatever so and he's been driving 30 plus years but this would be the first time that he's been with a company that long to hit a million miles i was very excited because a lot of guys that were older than me you know uh that's not million miles they saw that i stuck with one company stayed with them the whole entire time and kept a safe record I have a Blue International that's awaiting for me one day, whenever it gets there. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not there. They, they've ordered it, but uh, it takes, it takes a, a while. But I'm excited. Blue is my favorite color. International is a good truck, not only for the way it rides, but like even with training. It's spacious. It rides real smooth. A lot of the controls are easier to explain than other trucks. So I've been training five years, over 50 drivers that I've trained with this company across the country. A lot of good people, still friends with to this day, whether they're still with the company or not. So it was definitely a good experience. Introduce a new light to drivers that's new and worried about what to expect out here. I get a driver on my truck and the very first question that they ask me is, how long you been driving? Because they, they're nervous. They want to you know, make sure they're in good hands or they want to be with someone that's experienced. So, you know, for a while I'd be like, oh, I've been driving, you know, eight years, nine years. So now it's just like, hey, I have, I have a million miles. I've, I've been driving a million miles. And that, this is their facial expression. It's like, okay, now that's good, that's good. And then the next one's like, how old are you? <laughs> Being in this industry, you have to have a great helpmate. So my wife has been very encouraging. I'm normally home maybe two to four days a month. Having someone that I don't see often, but understands like uh, how the industry works uh, and then we make those moments count. And even like, even if I'm not training, she comes on the road and takes over my radio, but you know, she's, she's very supportive. We did a lot of adventurous things. We went to do the out of the ordinary type thing. So we went skydiving the day before our wedding, which was super fun, you know. I'm glad we made it, you know. <laughs> it was, <laughs> when we got there, before they set us up and hooked the harness on us, well, she was crying. She was just sitting there, <laughs> she was just sitting there crying, you know, and I, and I, I put that pressure on her. So I was like, if you want to marry me, you got to jump out this airplane. You know, I, I just want to see how strong your love is, you know. The best thing about driving is definitely seeing the States. Long stretches, you have time to think contemplate. I can use that as playing the drum or whatever because I plan out in my day. So if I'm playing the drums or if I'm calculating beats or whatever and, and, and looking for combinations, I would say it's tied into me calculating throughout the day uh, my routes. Uh, you know, everything has to be done on a timely basis or whatever. So that's how I section everything off. We have an amazing team. It's like friends, you know, they got my back. It doesn't feel like a job. Not only was Knight a good company along the way, the commitment and the loyalty that they showed me in um, the hard times that I dealt with, uh, with, you know, like deaths in my family where I needed to take off for personal reasons, they were understanding. I never had a problem where I wasn't able to get home to handle the things that I need. So I had a good work and personal life balance that kept me along the way over the years.